Hey, it's George from Cherry Creek Refrigeration. Remember, like, and subscribe. Check it out. It's five o'clock somewhere. I think I'm gonna get a clock and put fives all around the clock and just be five o'clock all the time. Because this coronation is driving me nuts. So hopefully you guys are doing okay. But we're gonna talk about testing hoses today. So we're gonna test the hose. I know I don't have the digital hoses like all you guys on the internet, but this is what I prefer. I guess I'm just old school. So we put a port on the vacuum pump and we use the micrometer to check the microns. And I got an old one. I bought this one years ago, the Supernova. And it's still as strong. Easy to change the gaskets, never leaked in any of this area. I had that one about six years. Okay, so we're gonna screw the vacuum pump to the gauges. And we're gonna turn the background light on. The only thing I wish is that the background light would have stayed on longer, but the background light goes out like super fast. So, but anyway, so now we start the pump. Make sure you open your pump up. There's a little valve on your pump. And if you don't have this valve on your pump, you can't test the microns this way. So, now you can see on the micron scale, the lights have already turned off, but we're gonna go down. And so most hoses are gonna leak a little bit. Your vacuum pump should be able to pull 50 microns all by itself. If you put a cap right here, you should be able to pull 50 microns with your vacuum pump. And if your vacuum pump doesn't pull 50 microns, then you know that your vacuum pump needs to be rebuilt. There's valves in here and gaskets and stuff and they'll leak back. But anyway, so a normal set of gauges should get down to about 170, 170 microns. So we'll let it go for a little bit. Now you can see you can open them up. And this is the proper way to check them. So see now when we open them up, the microns went up to 400. But if this is sealed right and all the gaskets are sealed right and these valves are sealed right, then you should get a good vacuum. I need to be down to about 170. We'll see, we're almost there. And so, as you wait for it to suck down, um, then you know your gauges are sort of good. You don't really have to wait much longer. 170 is good. We're not going to shut the valves though. The valves are staying open. Because we want to make sure all these gaskets are good. All the way to the hose, the ones we turn. And so I'll turn on the background, background light again. Okay. And then we will close this valve, but not anything else. And we're going to shut it down. And so this should go up to about a thousand microns. And once you get to a thousand microns, then it's going to steady out. And so that's almost like if you had it hooked to your system and you had a good system seal, um, you get about a thousand microns, maybe 1500. Um, but you got to make sure when you're testing the unit for microns that you make sure that the oil on the original vacuum of the unit, you bang the compressor a little bit to get the oil to release whatever refrigerant was in the system. So see, now we're almost up to 1,000 microns. I'll turn the background light on again. It just looks much better with the light on. And it's a plug-in version. So it's not like there's batteries back here. 
I guess there probably is a port to put batteries in. Maybe that's why the light goes off right away. Once this level's off at a thousand, then we're gonna check these when we twist them. These are those quick disconnect hoses so that you don't lose any pressure. And so when I talk about microns in the system, I'm talking about refrigerators, reach-ins. Walk-in's gonna be way different. But yeah, I'm talking about reach-in coolers. So see, basically, I know that's a good set of hoses. We're not leaking anywhere in the manifolds. Nowhere in the sides. So you always tape your manifold when you put your new gauges on. And then the gaskets can be replaced in all of these. And so basically, you should replace your gaskets probably i would say every three weeks depending on how busy of a refrigeration guy you are because once this leaks you messed up the whole entire system you got moisture in the system you got stuff that's not going to condense and so when people go out to buy these they don't know how to use them correctly and nobody tells them how to use them but you can see now we leveled off for 870 microns. So now we're going to take these little valves right here. These are quick disconnects so you don't lose a whole bunch of Freon. You're only losing what's in here, which is called de minimis. Now we're going to twist the valve at the same time. And you can see as you twist the valve, the valve lost a little bit of refrigerant and a little bit of air. So if you are using these, you're letting a little bit in, but it's not that much really. So, well, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Uh, this is George from Cherry Creek Refrigeration. Thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up on this, you guys. Enjoy your vacation, your coronacation, because I'm trying to keep myself busy.